Well, this is probably the most well-known mystery books of all time, and possibly one of the best Agatha Christie slash mystery books that I have ever read. Perhaps even suppressing Sherlock Holmes books. Hello, fellow book questers. It is I, Aaron the Book Quester. And today I got this epic, awesome mystery book. Murder on the Orient Express by Agatha Christie, herself the queen of mystery, and well, let's get right on to it. So, Poirot. Poirot is, well, has a very, very, very big case in Syria. And after that, he takes the Orient Express back back to London, because there's another urgent Kassner case, a case about, well, high British powers, and so he has to go back to London as soon as possible. And when and then he meets a friend, Falk, who owns, who is the manager of the director of the train of the Orient Express. So Poirot takes the Orient, Orient Express, the last seat available, and he goes on the trip on the Orient Express to go back to London. There are many, many people of all ages and of all all professions and of all nationalities in on the train. A Russian princess, a man named Mr. Ratchet, looking very evil. Um, the Ratchet secretary, an uh, American named McQueen, um, Mr. Ratchet's valet, Mr. Hubbard, a talkative old woman, Mary Debenham, who is a governess, the Count and the Countess, an Italian, a person who sells, person who sells bow ties, a Swedish woman, a prin the, the princess's maid, who is a German, a colonel, a colonel, a German professor, and then there's a lot of people, by the way, and then Ratchet asks for Poirot's help. He had gotten some threatening notes and wanted Poirot to help. But what Poirot says, I hope you will not take any ex ex offense, mon dieu, but I do not like your face. Because you see, Ratchet's eyes were hard and cruel, it seemed. And he was, by all, that, by all means, a pretty bad man, as it would be revealed much, much later. The next day, Poirot wakes up, and he's called by the director of the train, his old friend, and he finds a man stabbed a dozen times, murdered, on his bed. He is, of course, the evil Mr. Ratchet, who had been, who had been getting some threatening notes for a long time. And Mr. Ratchet is, well, he's, he's pretty much a very, very evil man. And, well, he's dead. And one end, since the Orient Express is currently snowbound, the only people who could have done it is on the train. And they are still here. And from all the passengers of the train, one of them is the murderer. Or perhaps even more of them. The case is very puzzling. Twelve cuts, twelve stab marks, each done by seemingly the same weapon. Some strikes are only possible with the left hand. Some stabs are only possible by the right hand. Some stabs can only be done by a very strong, big, powerful man or woman. Some stab marks are can only be made by a very fragilely built woman or man. All in all, the case is very weird. It seemed that the murderer had closed his eyes in the dark and stabbed in a frenzy, anywhere and everywhere. And it seemed that the time for the cuts highly differed. For example, a cut here could be estimated around 12, but another cut here could be estimated around 1. It was weird. It is not possible. Something was amiss. And Hercule Poirot was completely dumbfounded. Several pieces of evidence were underground. A handkerchief labeled H. 
a pipe cleaner, and several other things. And it's a bit weird that a murderer would leave these signs when the murder weapon cannot be found, and it seems that the murderer is not a very sloppy person. He's not someone that, at the spur of the moment, killed Ratchet. And of course, the window was open and it was freezing inside. But then, Poro, he finds something, a half-burnt piece of a letter, and he manages to reassemble it a little, and he reads the word Armstrong. The Armstrong case, where a girl, a very young girl of the Armstrong household, was captured, was kidnapped, and the man who was responsible for it, Cassetti, he had killed the little girl, get, got the ransom that the parents had given him, and he had run. And Sonia Armstrong, who is the mother of the little girl, had a baby, she was pregnant, and and when she gave birth, she died with the baby. And meanwhile, Armstrong, Major Armstrong, the pilot, who was the father of the ch child, killed himself. And that is the tragedy of the Armstrongs. And one of the lawyers accused, falsely accused the maid, who had nothing to do with the business, and the maid also committed suicide. Thus is the tragedy of the Armstrong case. And they found out it was, a it was done by the man named Cassetti, who had done such methods before. And yes, Ratchet was an alias. This man, who lay dead here with 12 stab marks, is Ratchet. And therefore, it may be likely there is some connection with the Armstrong case. And, but, I cannot go on, because if I go on, I'll spoil the mystery, and the point of mystery books is the mystery itself, therefore, you should probably go ahead and read Orient Express, Murder on the Orient Express, if you haven't already, of course. And like always, your book quester, Aaron the book quester. Hercule Poirot meets one of his hardest cases. Can he? Can he solve this case? Well, the solution you probably can never guess, unless, of course, you're Ecuparo himself. Have a great day.